Hello folks, well, we've got a bit of a catch up today, like, and we're going to have a look, see what's behind these two beauties. See you in the down view. A few moments later. Right, so, there we go, round two, uh, second go. Still haven't found out which particular movement this has got because all the curvy TVs I've got, I've got the day date, uh, the 2428 ones, and this one does not have it. Nor does it have the hole drilled for the little pusher as well. As you can see, it's telling spot on time. First today, that's correct. And I think that's a lot better. Is that look? Yeah. Oh, there we go. An old Soviet beauty brought back to uh, some wrist work. In fact, I will be wearing this because I do like the slavers and um, these kind of bottle grey. If you look, I don't know if you can see that there's like textures to it. It's like a four way texture. There's a bar that goes across. It's raised and then there's like an hour, like um, a curved in hourglass that comes from like 12 to 6, which is also raised but in a different manner. So it's like a, a, a two way texturing, which is unusual for slather stuff. Uh, there you go, there's a slather to curvy TV. Two hours later. So, first up. H. Samuel. This is a Harley 375 Quartz. It's on a French type um, strap. You can see, he's got the like the metal tangs that are closing around them. I thought this was going to be like there was a what's it a spring bar in it, but it is not. This is actually a sealed lug. It's keeping lovely time. Now I've got three of these. And the third one's not working yet, and I'll show the third one in a second. Uh, because it's in a state of undress, shall we say. And this is like, you know, quite diminutive. And this is, this is like, you know, old, old school sort of like. Isn't, isn't it? I mean, it's a dress watch, you know, an office watch. Here, I mean, it's not something you'd like wear down, like you know, down the scrapyard or something. I think you know, that's quite good. Uh, I've got this in this job lot like, of uh, five quartz watches. And here comes number two of the set. There we go. This is a Corvette. It's got a cracked crystal, unfortunately, but otherwise it's in very, very good condition. Took a bit of working out and getting it working again. Like, uh, these use 399 batteries. Right, and it came on this actual bracelet. Like, you know, which is, as you know, like, it's, I've got quite a lot of these bracelets, like. 
<laughs> Except I think this one, looking at it, is a bit wider. I don't know if you can see that. Like, this is an 18mm on the Rakita. And there's this. I think it's a 19 or 20. I'm not sure. But it's again, it's um, a Harley 375 quartz. Look, I mean, it's a very, very good looking, it's gold plated um, finish to it. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Go there, like, I mean, that just looks bizarre, doesn't it? It really does look the business. I'm very pleased with that. I mean, I could wear this even without cracked crystal because it does, it's like, you know, it, it, it's just irritating, but you know, I mean, I don't know what years these were, like, these were the 80s, 70s, like, I should imagine they were probably 80s at, like, at best. And um, a lot of people seem to like cinemize these um, Corvette with the car. It's nothing to do with the car. It's everything to do with the, the ship class, like the French type of ship, like um, which is like a, in between like uh, a destroyer and a frigate. Like, you know, it's, um, I mean, Corvettes were very, very common in World War II as, like, that subclass for, like, you know, doing, like, coastal work or, like, uh, minor convoy duty or something like that. I think that's lovely. And then I'll show you the third. Put that there a second. Bit difficult to show that this is the Montoyne one of this now I, I wanted to keep this one kind of like you know clean All right now what it's what is wrong with this is it's missing a battery clamp and the negative terminal of the back in the battery well has corroded so it doesn't get a good like um, a good feed off of battery so but I, I I've got some bits and pieces coming in for this like you know this will this this is like brand new it's it's like it's never been used i mean this um i don't know if you can capture the look at the quality of that rolled gold expanding bracelet it's not a scratch mark or blemish on it it's absolutely beautiful um, and of course there's this one here which i'm i mean look at that look at the bracelet on that one look how beautiful that is that is absolutely gorgeous. That's nine carat roll gold. Uh, ain't no messing around. So, I mean, that was a really good. I mean, I I really bought this to plunder this for the. Um, let's see if we can get that working again. It's a real shame that this this isn't working properly because. Um, There we go. So this is what he's been doing. Three, bosh, two, bosh, two. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my whole circuit board cleaner through and a few other bits and pieces, like you know, see if I can, like, you know, free it up. I reckon what it is, it's just really gummed up. This is. I mean, I was. See, I, I'd got this really. I bought the whole setup for this so that I could take the coil out of this and put it into. into this. Which is. Um, my slaver, my other slaver, Big Red Star. Right. Now this does work, except it, did, it did work, except I don't know if you can see there, the coil on it is, is like a hedgehog, the coil's like been compromised, oh, never mind, right. I'm hoping this one will run again for the sake of a coil, but now I don't want to take the coil out of that, that um, gold slammer, um, 
Seconda, right? Because it's actually like, you know, I don't know if you notice it, it's absolutely flawless. I, I mean, look at that. That's, that's proper AU gold plating, like, I mean, it is absolutely flawless. And that bracelet, I mean, this was never used very much, so that it's not going to be the source of the coil. Uh, this will be something to be shown in the future once I've got the bits to sort that out. Uh, what else have I been like wearing on this week? Like, been having a wear on this. So I do like this. Right. And been having a wear on this. My Soviet 119 Amphibia. When it's hand handmade thick leather strap, which I got from LAWR 389 eBay seller. Like that. Because it's exactly the same green as the dial. Don't that look that dogs. The only thing I have got to do is I've got to put a bit of loom into the thing. So I did do a, um, a, 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 what's it, a previous sketch to this, so uh, there will be one coming in there just a second. Um, oh, yes, that was it. Right, I've taken this out of the alum. This is the um, crown for that uh, very rare pulsar. It's very difficult to see. It is now finally, it took over a week to do. To dissolve it all and I've tapped it with my new tapping set I've tapped it um, what's it point nine to go for a nine tap and I've yet to fit this but I'm just I'm just like, like looking at how if I'm going to use the existing stem or if I'm going to use like the spare stem I've got from the other YM92 because I've got another YM92 coming as well which is in very good condition it's a rare one as well so there you go that that will be going on so thank you Mike at my retro watches for that in that heads up there like and what else have we wearing oh yes I cannot fault this. This is just gorgeous. This really is. I love this big, bold, brash Seiko quartz. You know, I I mean, the salad, I haven't seen him do anything like this either. I have no idea why this came out like, you know, as it did. But, you know, I've checked the, the numbers on the back and everything, like, and I've, like, Googled up the images for this particular model, and this this is legit, like, this isn't some fake, like, I love it, it's that, like, black velvet dial and chapter ring, you know, with the gold numerals and pickings out, and, like, you know, I mean, it is really, really pleasant. And, you know, I've been having some good times with that. Uh, right, let's take it to the up view and we'll do some more. A few inches later. Oh, there we go. Uh, ostentatious view. I mean, as you can see, like, like, like that sort of thing, like, there's nothing to say, like, you know, that you can't wear it. I mean, I probably wouldn't want to wear it out in, like, pouring rain and it gets wet, but, like, it's just... I have no idea about the company called Corvette, like, um, it's, excuse me a minute, I'm just going to see if that's muting it. Yeah, that's definitely, you probably couldn't hear it on the thing, but all you could hear in the lights on the left of me is like, it's the phone reacting with, like, my computer speakers. I say that, it stopped, now it started again. Oh, yeah, I think that's 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 a nice wearer, you know. And it's I when I do the um, I will do my best. I'll do it in the kitchen when I do the third one, right? 
I will like, you know, I will do all the bits and pieces in the kitchen. Nice lighting, nice area to work with, and I'll be able to work around the camera, if you know what I mean. Because like, I can't do it here, and like, you know, I mean, if you saw how many, I've got, I've got like a, a little mini mound of like watches to do, like projects and things like that. Uh, this one, I found out something very interesting. This is for a YM62, right? But the YM62 and the YM92 are identical size, shape, pitch, everything else. Like everything else is in exactly the same place. Basically, a YM92 is, is, is a YM62 without the alarm. Well, you know. I'm not going to get like you know a new YM62 for anything less than pull my pants down prices. I don't care if that's going to have a YM92 in it as long as it works. I'll find a set of hands for it, like you know, and like I reckon that is, I reckon that's going to be absolutely amazing. I mean everything is just in exactly the same place, and it also uses the same hand sizes as well. It's really cool, isn't it? Like you know, so if you've got a YM62. Um, watch and you can't find the movement for it Y92 will fit straight in like no questions or anything like you know you can see how comfortable I am with wearing this as well like, you know, I don't know why I, I do prefer bracelets uh, this right I don't know what's going on. This is a VX42 on the case. Inside there's a V733. The stems are not the same, like, you know, as each other, like, you know, so I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm going to just put the, um, so I've got a couple of VX42 movements lurking around. I don't know where, I'm just going to stick a VX42 movement in it, brand new stem, get it sorted up, like, and call that a good one, like, you know. Because it's just, like, it's just very frustrating that some. Like, it's a shame because it's a working movement. I don't know if you can see that. Keeping the time, it's just I can't set the time because I ain't got a stem in it. Right, and the stem that came out of it, like, I mean, I kid you not, like the uh, the square, like the multi stems of it, the multi or whatever it is, the square bit at the end, right? I mean, it didn't take much, it just dropped off, right, you know, so it was obviously like, there's a good job it dropped off outside the watch, then inside the watch. Um, next big one is going to be, find where he is, uh, I'll stop that. So I'll stop it, right, and it's just, it's just... Oh. I've got some shoes, I'm sure they listen to me. I've got the stem for this. There's the stem for this. This is going to be another one I'm going to do in the kitchen. Right. Wrap this one up so it doesn't get scrunched. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take it off and put it in the bag. I'll just do it logically. Right there. there we go. Things in the bag. This one I am really looking forward to getting out of the first wear, like, you know, it's quite a big watch, like, it's, um, basically what it is, is, like, they converted, like, uh, Moninga, um, pocket watches into wristwatches. This one I'm really, really looking forward to. Like, all I've got to do is get the stem out of it, like, you know, and I mean, it, it's not like you have to, like, do much, because these... These are all designed to come off like cleanly because it's a pocket watch, so you can actually do stuff. I don't love that. Look at that, you know, the three different kind of like movements parts, you know. That is gonna be the business that is. Uh, that will be project for this week. 
I've got to go to Salisbury Hospital on Tuesday. Um, and that's the day Shana goes back to Scotland as well. It's, it's going to be a bit of a busy day. Now, I've got to be careful as well because I kind of run out of money, like, unfortunately. Um, where well, I've been buying stupid things and stuff like that, like, you know, it's been. Um, um, I'm giving up trying to get this bloody fit anything working on this stupid telly, like, you know, because like, I spent like money getting um, cables and everything, like, you know, to get you know converters and adapters, and this stupid Android box just does not work. I uh, and it's like you know I I've tried I've got, I've got AV out cable for it, I've got a, um, a SCART converter to my HDMI for it, I've got. Um, What's it? Um, HDMI to RCA converter. None of it works. Like, you know, and it's like, oh, she's just so, so irritated. It works from, it works from HDMI to HDMI. No problem at all. It just doesn't want to work on that thing. So I'm very, very despondent about that at the moment. Like, you know, and it's only because it was given to me that I haven't, like, you know, just lost it out the window, sort of thing. Because it's just really, really, really it. So that's a double down thumbs like on that one. So I'm not going to make this long because obviously with the extra inset with the um, slaver, I I am very, very pleased with that. I, I'm not. I'm not so. I'm not. This doesn't feel quite so native on my wrist than uh, this one does there. Like you know, this one. That's a geezer's watch. Like this one. It's a bit small for me, but it's a dress watch. Like. I mean, H. Samuel, by the way, is a uh, chain of um, British jewellers. I mean, they were across Europe as well. But, uh, like, you know, H. Samuel. And in fact, I do remember something about, um, what's it, Shana's um, grandfather saying to me that um, his grandmother was um, related, like, you know, to somebody who married into the Samuel family. Of London, like, you know, old Jewish family. That's where Shana gets her Jewishness from. Uh, there you go. I don't, I don't like to strap on that that much, but I'm just going to leave it alone, you know, because you know, just breaking it for com comfort and convenience, it's no good. It's, it's no good, boy. Like, you know, that's why, you know, I'll just wear that. I mean, you know, I could see me wearing that. Say, if I'm going for a job interview or something like that, a wedding or something like that, I'd wear something like that. Something gold, something ostentatious. Um, uh, it's only gold plated and it's gold plated onto a silver case. I've been assured. Like, this is not the standard one of gold plated into a brass case, this is gold plated onto a silver case. So, there is some worth in it. Like, you know, I mean, the movements aren't like anything special, it, it just does what it says on the tin, it does like, you know, timekeeping and the date. Same as this one, they're all the same, so like, you know, I don't care, but they are serviceable. That's the good thing about these um, Harleys, is they are serviceable. You can service every part of them, and apparently you can get the parts still. Right, so there you go. Hoping that um, everything's going to turn up for this. Right, so I'll pick this one up and wear it. Um, I haven't got very much coming in, like, um, I've got some pocket watch stuff coming in, like, um, you know, basically it's about 10 pocket watches that have been taken apart and never done anything with, like, in a box, and um, I bought a job lot of, uh, what's it, disassembled movements and parts for these 375s, because that's what I need the extra back battery clamp for, like, you know. It's nice to actually have had a amphibia in there. It's, well, I mean, I did have one last week with my caged one, but this one, at this, look, now you can see. Look at look how the green light matches. Look how you know you can see how thick. I mean, it's a pretty geezer's watch that is. Right? And, um, it's been a while since we've seen that uh, out in, in in the like, you know in the open. Right? And these are. Uh, Straps are handmade by a local chap in Yeovil. Yeovil is about 15 miles away from where I am now. Right, called LAWR389 on eBay. And he just makes them up himself and just has a few on selection. 
this is a lovely texture to that green. Right. And this is this one's got paddle hands, right? Some of them did have arrows, the later ones, right? But this one's got the paddle hands. This is what makes this just so delightful. Right. I'm very pleased with that, and it is telling the right time. Oh yes, it is because it's an amphibia. Well, all my amphibians tell the right time. That's if I was that broken. And they don't tell. Well, they tell the right time twice a day for about one millionth of a, like, you know, pico nanosecond. Like, you know. Right. It's a double thumbs up to all that's going on there. Like, you know, except for like, you know, whatever I gave the double thumbs down for. Like, I have a TV. Like, you know. Um, I mean, I can't knock it, it's a Freeman, but, like, you know, unless I can put something on it, it's no point in having it in it. Because it's just, I mean, I could, I could have, like, you know, my, um, what's it, my stacking shelves in here or something, like, you know. So, all I've got to do, I mean, when Sean's gone back to Scotland, I might actually see if I can put the um, Xbox 360 on it. Because I, I could put Netflix on it and play games on it and stuff like that. Because right, the Xbox 360 uses the um, RCAs, and if that don't work, then there's something wrong with it, and then I need to have a look at it. And it probably is just something like a loose, loose wire in the connectors. And I mean, I've been very good, I've not been showing that I have the whole of this work, so you know, I've been trying, you know, trying to behave myself because I noticed that I'll get people they sign up, subscribe, and about two days later they unsubscribe, and it's like, oh dear. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is I'm doing to offend people, but like, you know, I mean, perhaps it's because I'm talking about West Ham or something, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm just like an old South London, you know, lad. Because we talk about things like that, you know. No, you know I mean, I, I've never really gone into like, you know, like, all the, all the dodgy stuff, like gangster stuff and all that, you know, because I mean, you know, you, 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 you could fall over, like, you know, like gangsters in any South London pub, like, you know, I mean, these are the real gangs, it's not like, you know, like the sort of plastic stuff you got today, who like five, like, five onto one, like, stab up a 60-year-old geezer, like, you know, I mean, like, what on earth was that about? The bloke had never done anything to anybody, I mean, it's just an old bloke having a day out in London. Oh, you know, I know, you know, he's the bloody idiot's Dyson on his like, let's go step him up, he looks like a point, you know, what the hell, like, you know, and of course, like, you know, it's getting to the point where if you're going to London, you're going to have to tall up just to walk down the street, because, you know, the only way you're going to stop them doing you over, I mean, that bloke died, I mean, where were the police, where was any, any, any sort of help, and if it wasn't those skateboarders, like, you know, they caught the geese, it's like, you know, but like, where were the police? There used to be police swarming all over that part of London. Where are they now? You know? So hiding in the bloody police stations and like driving around in their cars or, you know, watching their CCTVs and then when they should be out in the street ready to apprehend. I mean, you know, they weren't like, you know, too slow back in the 80s. Like, you know, if you were like playing up or something, Big hand on your shoulder, what are you doing, sort of thing? You know, West End Central, the local police station there, they were pretty horrible to us, like, you know, young lads. <coughs> so, where were they that day? Anyway, I'll leave that one with you. Amphibia says goodbye. Corvette says goodbye. Right. A bit of a navy theme going on. Right. Beautiful Seiko. Well, that's a proper. If you look um, on the back, on the back of the um, there, it's actually got the Seiko light part numbers and everything. I, I mean, what more do you want? A gold tone Seiko quartz. You know, huge, absolutely huge. I mean, it's, that's, that's big. I mean, you know, what's this? The seventies up. This would be an eighties Seiko quartz. I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, it's made better with that domed crystal as well. I'm happy with it. Fine. And of course, Mr. H. Samuel, I don't even know what the H stands for. Well, you know, yeah, I'm happy. I'll be alright with it. Right. Anyway, 
see you in the next one. Hopefully you might see a couple of like me, you know, me actually doing something, instead of like waffling on about watches, like, you know. And I am, you know, for those that have been messaging me about um, doing the show, the old collection, I am working it out, like, you know, it's, it's just because I've got so much, like, you know, to work for. I've got all the pulsars, got, you know, I've got all the, the Soviet stuff, I've got the Chinese stuff, like, you know, it's quite a lot, like, you know, to go through. And it's going to take, I am going to try and bracket it down, I'm going to do, bang, pulsar videos. Everything with pulsars on it, nothing else, like, you know, the whole lot, the whole lot. Um, and then I'll do the Seikos in another video, and then I'll do the, what's it, the Soviets, like, um, in another video, because obviously I've got more Soviet stuff. I mean, I've got another, um, Seconda Baker coming, like, you know, bloke wanted 12 quid for it, free postage, bosh. So, you know, and I'm having that, because they're Rakitas, or, you know, they are Russia's Rolex, right, so I've got another one of those, um, and then, you know, just do, like, and do everything else, like, you know, like, the, the Chinese, the AliExpress sort of things, like, you know, and, um, and then, like, uh, like, the Swiss stuff, I mean, these, these are Swiss, the, I mean, the, the movements are Swiss, they're all like, you know, so, you know, like, I've got quite a lot of Swiss stuff to show off as well, like, so, we will take it from there, like, and of course I've got Acuris, like, um, I haven't got any rotaries, like, the only thing I haven't got any of is a rotary, and, um, hello missus, you want to see my rotary, no, that doesn't really work, does it, no, oh, I am working on it, you will see the whole the whole works like you know but you know i'm just gonna do it because the other thing as well is i've actually stopped like you know i've i've not got any more purchases outstanding apart from what's in the post so you know because that's what half the problem is i have me perch or i'd be like getting ready sorting it out of that and purchases like come in and it's like you know there's another five watches or something like that and it's like oh my god you know so once I've got all the stuff like amalgamated in this week, that will be, you know, that'll be the whole lot then done. And then, like, you know, then I've got a nice baseline, and I also then can use it to, like, you know, sort out what I'm going to get and um, sell on, what I'm going to do for the 12 months of giveaway, like, which is coming up. To an, I, I think, you know, 250 subscriber level, and I'll get 200. <laughs> Get to 250 subscribers. Bosh, that would be that was a big start of it. You know, I'll showcase like each month. I'll showcase the watch I'm giving away. Or I'll, I'll, I'll leave it open for two weeks for um, what you call it. Um, two weeks like entries open sort of thing. I I I do something like a keyword or something like that. So that makes me easy. And then I just use like pick a winner on you you know online and that. And um, it will. And then whoever wins it, like, you know, I mean, that's it, I mean, it'll be sent insured, like, you know, it'll be sent, like, you know, I'll, I'll don't, I'm, as, like, as long as it's not, not going to be, like, 100 quid to send, like, you know, something like to Earth Many Star or something, like, you know, I will, you know, it'll be on my dollar, like, you know. And they, I mean, and the other thing as well, it's got to be understanding if it's mechanical or something like that. Like, you know, as long as like it turns up and it's like, it's working, like a week down the line, it might decide it might need a service, or a month down the line it might need a service. I mean, you know, that's um, you know, once it's left my hands and it's arrived at the other person's doorstep, as long as it's arrived hale and hearty and whole, like, you know, the responsibility, you know, is is not mine. So, you know, I will not be entertaining people saying, oh, yeah, like, you know, six months down the line, well, it's not working very well now, like, I'm like, no, get it serviced. Because that's what you do with mechanical watches, you get it serviced or serve it yourself, you know? I, you know, I mean, I'd love to do that, I'd love to do a warranty of a year and say, yeah, that's all right, yeah, you know, but I ain't got the sort of resources to do that, like, so, you know, be grown up about it, be sensible about it, like, you know? If you don't like the terms of the condition, you don't know that. You know, it's not as silly as that, you know? Anyway, double thumbs up to everything except the TV.
Right, I'll, 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 that's why I'm sad landing I'll get distracted and I'll just go. You know, I'm just ran on about 16 years now. Right. But I think this is definitely. See you later.